Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, I have discussed about how can add some of the uh, JavaScript validation. I hope you like it very much. So now friend, in this video, I want to complete our um, amenities name. I want to insert this data. That will be very easy. Simply, I want to do, I want to go to our add amenities, right? In particular, that position, I, that is also one of the field. There is only one field and here there is one of the form. I want to do, I want to create another new uh, method. Um, that means our first of all our route name our route name will be as a store amenities now this type of one of the route I want to create okay so if you now go to our web route I want to create as a store amenities I want to simply replace it our type to the amenity and that will be as a amenity okay great now I want to create this type of one of the store amenity so if you want to do this work simply I want to do I want to copy again from our store type here I simply copy it okay i simply copy it and now after that i want to do and to paste it simple okay now we can actually do everything by paste because here is i hope you are already know about that all that part now i simply remove it here we don't need that validation i have already added that validation now i want to install it in our push table i want to store it in our amenities table or they have only one field our field name if you go to our database our field name as the amenities name I simply added that amenities that will be requested field name or requested field name as the amenities name right so now I simply added that amenities name then that will be display as a amenities uh, created successfully that's all okay it should be displayed and it should be uh, written redirect to our all amenities space okay so now that's all now simply I want to install this data so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you go I want to refresh this space and also better I want to first of all run as a optimize okay optimize is running now I want to refresh it okay I want to refresh that is also the property controller is to type okay store type if you go you can see I didn't update that our method name our method name will be obviously as a store amenity I want to update that as a store amenity okay now click as a save all now I want to refresh it perfect now I want to better copy it like as a year condition I copy it. that is the air condition now click as a save changes yes you can see amenities are created successful I have already done our um, view page that means our all that uh, amenities all page here successfully display the name edit and then delete great so now I want to complete that edit also it will be very easy I want to also complete this part in that case we have to go to again our all amenities and here now to create another new one okay i want to create another new one as a um, that will be as a edit okay edit amenity and also here we have to edit it with a specific one of the id better i want to do and to create our edit amenity if you go now that will be as a edit amenity edit amenity and also they have one of the id now to create another new one that will be as a edit amenity i want to create this type of the method i copy it now if you go to our property type and here i want to do and to create another new one as a public function method name and here that will be as a and method i want to get that our requested id and then requested id will be which one here from to the amenities i want to actually get this data i take one of the variable as a amenities amenities will be our amenity model and here i want to add that as a find or fail our requested id okay so i simply get it and then i want to return one of the view page return view will be same in our back end in our amenities and that is our amenities folder here i want to do and to create another new file that will be as edit okay edit edit amenities and then i want to do and to pass that our specific id data with the compact okay with the compact i want to do to pass it great so now I take the things everything with this variable now here I simply pass it now I want to create our edit amenities I copy it now if you go to our amenities folder I want to create another new file click as a save as name it as edit amenities dot blade dot php right so only now we have to do we have to show that validation so i better i want to copy everything from our add amenities and now in our edit amenities area i want to paste it okay so everything will be same only that is our input field into this input field area i want to do on to pass one of the value our value will be which one here i have already get our specific row id data i take the things with this variable now here i want to do with this variable i want to 
simply show our name a database field name as the amenities name now our value should be display and here also I want to update as edit that will be the edit amenities okay great now that should be updated now if you click as a save all I want to also run that optimize okay optimize is running and now if you go and refresh it and now if you click as edit now that should be display specific one requested id and that is our data okay great now i want to do on to update so if you want to update same in our form area now first job is we have to pass that our requested id right remember so that process will be same id i name it as a id and here i pass that value value will be the here by this amenity okay by this amenity i want to do to access our amenity stable field name that means amenity stable id okay great i make that as a hidden that will be not display by this we will actually get this id now i want to do I want to create another new one as an update update amenity i want to create this type of another route that will be on the post method if you go to our web route that will be as a update okay update amenity our url will be amenity that will be the post method and here i want to do I want to create another new method as a update amenity so i want to copy our restore okay restore amenity that will be just like that same better i copy it and after that i want to paste it okay so now that will be our name as an update amenity i want to make it as an update amenity and here first of all we have to get that our requested id so i make as a ame i address for id so this will be which one that will be our requested requested id okay i simply get that our requested id so that is actually our requested id so i simply take it i take the things with this variable now here first of all we have to find or fail our that is the requested id right here first of all we have to get that requested id then i want to do i want to update okay after that that will be as update function i simply updated it our same field it should be display i mean it is updated updated successfully it will be returned redirect to our all amenity space that's all okay that's all click as a save all i want to update our optimize and now if you go i want to refresh it okay now if you click as a one 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 now make changes yes you can see that is amenity is updated successfully great now i want to do i want to delete also i want to complete this part that is also very easy if you go to our all amenities now I want to create on the new one as a delete amenities with a specific one of the id better i copy the amenities if you go to our web route that will be as a delete amenity if url will be delete amenity with id and i want to create on the new method as a delete amenity okay now I want to create this method in our a property type controller here after that that will be as a public function and then method as a delete amenity okay great now that will be one of the requested id and then we have to do have to access our amenities amenities and then i want to make as a find or fail our requested id when it will be get that requested id then i want to do i want to call the delete function that's all and where it will be deleted, it will be returned directly to our back page. After that, I simply paste it. I mean, it is deleted, deleted successfully, and it will be returned directly to the back page. Okay. Here, we don't need to pass any route from to this particular area. I simply remove it. That's all. Now, if you click as a save all, okay. And now, if you go, I want to refresh it. Oh, again, that will be optimized. I want to optimize it, refresh it. Hmm, perfect. So, but I want to add another test. Like as a test, I click as a save. I mean, it is name test. And now from here, if you want to delete it, click as a yes, delete it. Now that should be deleted as the amenity is deleted successfully. Great. That is a very simple one of the code application. Here we successfully done it. So now our main interesting part will be big gain. I hope friend you will like it very much in our next video I want to do I want to add our property so for the add property here first of all we have to design our database which field will be needed first of all I want to do and to uh, simply get some of the field idea and from to this area and then we have to do we have to actually create uh, that means we have to add this our property so that will be very interesting and here i will add multiple advanced things i hope you will learn a lot of the things from by adding that property
okay so in the next video i want to work for our ad property for our this project so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video